Synthetic Voice Storytelling by Andre Michael Petroshek is an episodic, cost-free fiction podcast at redcircle.com. Stories range from fantasy to horror and science fiction. Role-playing tabletop and pen and paper origins included. Each episode is a standalone story or tale, and fans had the option of voting for twists and character changes to get their favorite variant of an episode. Enjoy, share or ignore. The Riddle. Look, Paddy, do you see it? See who? See what? That girl. Do you see her now? See her? Her beauty blinds me to all else. Prince Michael and his valet Paddy. At your service, madam. No, no, you must go back. You are near the home of the Black Witch. I'm glad we're near somebody's home. I'm so hungry my stomach thinks my throat's cut. It's just it. You mustn't eat anything she'll give She'll give you. You see, my guardian named Madame Blackheart is not friendly to strangers. Mm, then it will be wise not to eat, but we may stay for the night. Yes, but promise me, you will not eat or drink. We will, but I have a hard time explaining it to my inner man. Michael and Paddy, we aren't... My... My, aren't you the early birds? After what you told us about last night, we thought it best to leave while we were all in one piece. It's hard to think you living here, Iris, with danger on every side. Let me take you away, no, Paddy. You not now. Perhaps when the spell is broken, I must. I can say no more. Boys, wait a minute. I've got something for you. I was afraid of that. I don't. I didn't send you, want you to think, I sent you off without food. Here's some soup for your journey. Soup, sure, that's not a bad old witch. You're not sure, you're not such a bad old witch uh, as witches go, thanks. Goodbye, I, I, forever, I hope. And now, Michael, my, my, my boy, shall we ha- We'll have a this lovely soap, right? But first, we must get the, let the horses graze. There's plenty of grass for them there. But till we get the but till we got the soup, I thought we will have to share it with us. Scat, you feeling raven scat? The soup's gone, Michael. Every drop's gone. But raven's not here. There, I hit him. Good shot, Michael. The menu's been changed from. Soup to gravy stew. Yes, and there's a little in where we can cook it. Let's go. My golly, this will be the first time I've ever had supper, breakfast, and dinner all together. Isn't Paddy? Somebody's coming. You m- go away. You mustn't come in here. Why? Now, d- don't tell me we have a witch here, too. No, there's a band of twelve robbers who live here. They're, they're here. They're fierce, and so my, is my appetite. Twelve little robbers can't keep me, me us from eating. It's, it, is it cooked yet, pig? In another minute I'll take a bite out of my foot. I'll take the bite out of my fork. Well, it's done, but you must eat quickly before the robbers return. Listen, that noise. They're coming. Run for your lives. Hide, hide. Well, Peg, my girl, what's that you have cooking? It smells good, a raven. I wanted to surprise you. Well, it's a little early for supper, but be ready for it. The honey scrubbing makes a man hungry. Here, my hearties. Mighty fine tasting raven, Peg. I please about we exact you off without freshing. Uh, what's happening to me? You're disappearing. And so all your men. Paddy, Michael, come out. The low rubbers have ate the raven and vanished, I don't understand. Neither do I, but I'm, in, I'm all in favour of it. I know what happened. The raven drank the soup and the soup which gave me. It must have been chanted when the rubbers ate the raven. Poof. Well, that old witch meant to fix us. Now I'm free, will you take me to my aunt in Santa Lucia? Gladly, let's go. There's a lovely princess there, Michael, who loves riddles. If you can fool her, 
You'll win her hand, but if not, you'll lose your head. Fair enough, I'll try. Michael, you're in luck. Here comes a carriage with the Princess Dorona. And here comes Prince Michael. He's mad. He's going to challenge Princess Dorona to riddle. Even my donkey has better sense, haven't you? Have you? Stop, Princess Dorona. I have a riddle for you. Have you? So did lots of others who are now dead, young man. You're much too handsome to die. You better change your mind. Your hand is worth the risk. Now tell me, what slew none and yet killed twelve? What slew twelve none and yet killed twelve? Hmm, a difficult one. I'll come to dinner tonight and I'll answer. Right, at eight sharp. What blew none and yet What slew none and yet killed twelve? Mm, it's hard. What slew none and yet killed twelve? I don't know, but my wizard will. No use, Princess, I can't find the answer. But I must have it for dinner, I must. It's only a riddle that's ever fooled me. I don't know what to do. Well, I do. The boys are in the room, resting before dinner. I'll sneak into Michael's and you can go into the crazy paddies. But you won't tell us the answer? He will, if they frighten, if frighten you see. We'll wear these capes. You'll think we're ghosts. Good idea. Being being roused from sleep, they'll be off guard, not be in guard. You're right, I'm scared. of crazy Paddy out of his wits, if he has any. Here's their, their rooms. Now good luck, Paddy is the one who will need the luck. Goodness, how can he sleep with an awful noise? Tell me, Paddy, what slew none and killed twelve? Who, what, when, when? A ghost, let me out of here. Michael, save me. Grey ghost is after me. What's wrong? Why all this noise at this hour? I can't help it. Ghosts keep up, keep bad hours. And so do make-believe ghosts, Paddy. The princess tried to scare the answer to the riddle out of us. But alas, I failed. I cannot answer. Well, I can. A raven drank poison. Twelve of us ate the raven and then turned was slain. Slain. So you see the dead raven killed twelve without getting, killing anyone. Buddy. Well, I've lost a riddle, but I really think I won Prince Michael. Michael, my prince, you might have won him, but you lost your bracelet. I'll get it. Don't touch it. It it means that Madame Blackheart's spell over me is broken. What? Is she in again? You see, I'm never really wicked. The bracelet was a symbol of slavery to her cause. The spell now both are broken. She kept me, her, my friend Iris captured, so she knew my every move. Now we must free Iris. Iris, let me take care of her and the Madam Blackheart. I'll be back with Iris before you can say Madam Blackheart. Fine, Paddy, we'll make it a double wedding. But when we get there, old friend, no matter how angry I get, don't let me drink any soup. 